I'm Roman Burrows with Geoprobe Service, and in this video we're going to talk about the cold start cycle on your Geoprobe rig. This video directly applies to the 7822DT version 3 and 3126GT machines, and generally applies to the 3230DT and 8150LS machines with some slight differences. If you have a version 2 7822DT, which is generally model year 2012 to 2018, the cold start cycle is different and there is a video series on our website in the 7822DT training essentials. This machine was left outside in the cold last night and this morning the temperature is less than 10 degrees Fahrenheit. We prepared ourselves for success last night by doing the following things. We put fuel treatment in the fuel system. Many fuel treatments can be found in most auto parts stores. We turned the master disconnect switch off to minimize draw on the battery. This morning I'm going to turn the switch on before I start the rig. We plugged in the engine block heater. The engine block heater is designed to be plugged in overnight. It reaches 90% of its temperature in about five hours. This morning I'm ready to unplug the block heater so I can begin my day. Now that our preparation is complete, I'm ready to turn on my key. A message will pop up to show me that the glow plugs are working and they'll stay on for a few seconds. If you'd like, you can do this step twice. Once the glow plugs are finished, you'll see a message on the display that says it's ready to do its warm-up cycle. This cycle is automatic if the machine is under a certain temperature, which is generally about 50 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Now I'm ready to start the machine. The machine goes through its warm-up cycle automatically and doesn't require any action from me. But for the purpose of this video, we'll talk about what the machine is doing. I'm gonna clear the, uh, the message and you can monitor this by going over to the temperature information screen. The machine will first start in a low pressure mode. Basically, it only starts the engine. When the re engine reaches a set temperature, the machine will turn on a hydraulic pressure and will open a valve to start moving fluid within the pump, main manifold, and cooler. As the hydraulic fluid warms up, the engine throttle will raise in proportion with the temperature to allow it more flow. Once the hydraulic temperature reaches its set point, generally around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the high flow valve will turn off, the engine throttle will return to idle, and a message will show you on the screen that the warm-up cycle is complete. It's important to know that during the warm-up cycle, the machine does lock out any other functions on the rig until it's complete. The warm-up cycle can be canceled by pressing the down arrow on the display. The warm-up cycle on this machine today took about a half hour to complete. The time for your machine may vary based on conditions. Now that the cycle is complete, the core of the machine is warm, but the peripherals are still cold. So we do recommend you start work slowly until cylinders and valves and motors can become warm. If you have any questions, call Geoprobe Service.